Hello, everybody. This is Greg29407, back with another episode of City of Heroes. Well, here we are at Deep Freeze. He is our stalker. He's a uh, radiation ice armor stalker, and uh, I've got the radiation to make it look like it's ice cubes or something. It's somewhat uh, successful. We'll see. Uh, before we get started today, um, here is who we call Lady Liberty in, in Pretoria. It's uh, Prater Duncan. And this guy right back here is the guy that can say, change our... Um, our notoriety. Uh, as you may remember from our last episode, I went down here to try and change notoriety. It's not down here. Um, you have to talk to a person here. So uh, you can change these kind of things. So we're going to leave everything the way it is right now. I was toyed with the idea of, of moving our thing to negative one times plus you know, minus one times zero. Um, number one, that helps out with uh, higher enemies. Number two, it helps out with keeping our XP down so that we don't out-level all the content. We may do that. We'll see what happens. Um, but I said, nah, I'm going to stick with what we got for now. Um, so anyway, we hit level 10 last time. And when we did that, we got a contact from Provost Marshand. He went from our inactive back to our active again. And uh, he has some missions for us. And here we can go, we have two different missions. Uh, one is Mr. G, and it says, Mr. G is part of the power storyline for the Loyalist. Those who are in power use the law for their own benefit. And the other mission down here is uh, we want to talk to an interrogator Kang. Uh, he continues the responsibility storyline, which we're doing with this particular character. Uh, so we want to go ahead and meet with in interrogator Kang right away. And that's going to take us to Imperial City, a brand new uh, map in the the game here. So we are over here, Nova Pretoria. That's where we've been since we started. Imperial City is this big section right here. This is kind of like a, a Manhattan type thing. When we get a little higher level, then we'll move over to Neutropolis and we'll be close to the end of the game. So we are now going to be able to go over here. Imperial City, and that is to the west. That's to the west. All right, so let's head that way. We go all the way off to the side of the map and then take one of these bridges that crosses. Look at the high rises of Imperial City. It is actually pretty beautiful. I like it a lot. They did a really great design on this map, I think. It's uh, really beautiful. So we're, it's kind of like going through the war walls. Here we go with Imperial City. Hope we don't get another uh, warning from my virus protection. Okay, so far so good. All right, and Interrogator Kang is right over here. In People's Park, isn't that very pretty? TPN is their TV network, and they, they have uh, quite a few storylines in here. It's just very nice over here. Um, that's where the uh, travel center is, and there's also the um, uh, auction houses back over there a couple of blocks as well. Oops. Okay, let's see what this guy's got. Marchand informed me that you might be lending me a hand on this case, Deep Freeze. I appreciate it, really. The boys in the PPD seem to forget that we're all in this mess together. If we're going to make a real difference, it's going to happen because of teamwork. The bad guys seem to understand this. I just hope that it's not too late for our side. I don't aim to make this case a publicity stunt, but it may well turn out that way. We got ourselves a serial killer in on the loose, and TPN is having a field day with it. Again, that's the TV channel here. My name is Kang, Raymond Kang. I work with the, for the Ministry of Intelligence as an interrogator. Ask around. when you, If you have a question, it gets answered. But hey, I've got more important things to talk about than myself. Sacrifices must be made, part one. Some sicko is wandering the streets. It likes to cut things, and it's taken a liking to cutting up seers. TPN nicknamed him Cutter Kane, but nothing so far indicates that this monster is a male, or a man for that matter. The PPD have been spinning their wheels for weeks on this case, Steve Freeze. Forty, forty seers are missing, and only two dozen bodies have shown up so far. Kane's holding them somewhere. They've dumped the bodies around the city when he's done with them. We've got to find Kane's victims are being kept and get them before its knife does. All right, so we've got like a four-part story here with tracking down Cutter Kane. 
We've got no perpetrators, no suspects, nothing. The Sears can't find Kane, and they they never see it coming until now. Kane finally slipped up, got something to help out, and someone got his mind read by one of the Sears right before she disappeared. We picked out the address from the Sears' last thought transmission. It's a warehouse in Lo Lagos. Logos. Logos. Okay. Defreeze, I want you to get that warehouse and rescue the Seer before she ends up like the others. Okay, so we got like, some, a good crime story. Now, there's not a lot of crime in Pretoria because they have such a, a, a overwhelming dictatorship that, uh, you know, crime is kind of like a thing of the past, but because it's such a police state. <laughs> so the good and the bad. We do have some crazy guy running around. I believe there's a four-part story arc. And I'm hoping to get this entire story arc and the next one from our next contact done as well in one chapter, one episode. I don't want to turn this series on Pretoria into some, you know, event mini-series on TV or something. All right, I'm glad we're hidden. Ooh, what is this? Search for clues. Well, this looks like a clue right here. You find nothing but packing peanuts and foreign plastic inserts for various electronics. There's another box over there. Keep an eye on that guy in case he sees us. And he does. Oh, yellow. Eternal Horror Frost. There we go. Yeah, if you watch my uh, videos on my other character, my other uh, uh, stalker characters, um, I am having a tougher time with this character. Not because the character's not good, but I think because of the uh, the situation we find ourselves in, with uh, everything's just kind of harder in Pretoria. It sounds like kind of a cop out, but everything is harder in Pretoria. <laughs> something here. Ooh. There's a seer. We're going to fight some more people, it looks like, too. Let's uh, get this clue. Ah, they saw me. Come on. Ooh, is it? Darn it. This is not good. Oh, yeah, this is... Ah, man alive. These are tough characters. I hear another one. I was inside that office. Oops. Oh, here's a file cabinet, too. Don't want them to see me. Okay, I'm going to go through here and uh, search for more clues and also talk to that seer. Actually, let's, let's do the seer right now. She's right, standing right over, sitting right over here, or laying right over here. You can tell you're too late before you even check her pulse. The poor seer lies crumpled on the ground. At least she seems to have found peace, despite the damage Cutter Kane and his resistance friends did to her before she slipped away. It's pretty grisly. Okay, here's another box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's another. Please don't see me. There's a guy over there. Is he Cutter Kane? There's a question mark. Cutter Kane? Question mark? Cutter Kane? Question mark? I see a medical thing over here.
All right. Uh, you found several bottles and syringes with pharmaceutical labor or pharma tech labels. Okay, look, I've got to fight those two guys that were the cutter cane question mark over their heads. My question is, are they far enough away that I'm not going to attract other attention? Jeez. Now let's go for it. Oh, I wish I had Placate right now. I'm not getting Placate until later. Oh, I wish I had Placate. <laughs> oh, I wish I had Placate. Ah, you stupid son of a gun. There we go. Ah, I wasted it. All right. Well, that was leveling up at just the right time. All right. I'm guessing those two guys were not Cutter Kane, or else that would be a very short story arc. <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back as soon as we get back to Interrogator Kane to get our next uh, marching orders. Be right back. All right, let's see what our contact has to say. You found some equipment from Pharmatech Global, huh? That would be a good logical next step. Before we do that, however, I want to see what information we can get from those perpetrators you brought in. So far, all I've learned is that Cutter Kane is male and he's a doctor. Looks like TPN wasn't too far off. We're going to have to keep in touch if we're going to have any hope of solving this case. Here's my cell number. Call me whenever you get a lead. Good, okay, that's going to save a little bit of time. Part two. According to one of the syndicate thugs you brought in, Dr. Kane is using some sort of device to block seer precognition. That's how he surprises them. I had Alec Parson over at MC Micar do uh, some digging, and it appears that there is such a device. It's called a limbo device. Crater Tillman had them outlawed years ago. I'd bet my salary that Kane got, some from, got his from Pharmatech Global along with the rest of his equipment. I want you to visit the Pharmatech Global facility here in Logos. They, they supposedly have a limbo device for research purposes. Make sure they still have it. Okay. Uh, Dr. Kane is working with the Resistance and the Syndicate. His motives don't seem to be about murdering their seers, but rather to find a way to remove their cybernetics without killing them in the process. This is a value to both the Resistance and the Syndicate. According to one of the Resistance terrorists you captured, Kane already has a few successful cases under his belt. My suspicion is that Dr. Kane is selling Sears to the Syndicate and having the Resistance help them with the heavy lifting. In return, both groups benefit. The Resistance has less Sears to deal with, and the Syndicate does new recruits for their organization. Find those Sears he has nothing left to sell. He'll get desperate, and he'll make his mistake. All right. Let's get moving across the park here. Get to see a little bit of the new downtown area. Yeah, I was thinking about this the other day. It's, it's kind of hard to, to judge this character completely against my, uh, um, against Sea Winch, who is my um, staff fighting radiation stalker. Um, that character, the, the, Assassination power seems a, a lot more um, substantial in that particular character rather than this one. It may just be because the, the, the way they've got it coded or something, but it feels like you're really assassinating someone with that, with that trident that I use. This one is a little bit left. Oh, I got a timer on here. Defeat Maxine five minutes until security arrives. Oh, heck. Okay, well, we may be able to do this. We can defeat Maxine. Oh, see, the, everyone's oranges and yellows. Ah. I don't think that's a good way of doing low level content like this. Maxine! Yeah, geez, okay. Wow. 
Jeez Louise. Oh, there we go. I got her. Okay, good. Let me take care of these other guys. Oh, darn it. Okay. All right. Where's the limbo device? Who gave gave it to Kane? Tell me about Cutter Kane. Clock's still dropping. A good man saved my sister from Mother Mayhem. Who's your sister? She was a seer. Kane, he saved her, rescued her, really. Please don't take her away from me again. Outside of the seer network, she isn't dangerous. How can you how can you be sure of that? Look, look at me. At the syndicate, our power, it is in check. Your power is used for selfish ends. Theft, kidnapping, murder? And how is that any different than what Mother does with her seers? Maxine passes out. If you can't see the difference, I can't I pity you. All right. Uh, find the captured seer. Oh, heck. We're still in this. Yikes. The clock's still running down. Okay. <laughs> we'll make this a little harder on ourselves. Let's see if we can do this before uh, the timer runs out, though. Looking for any kind of seer. Ah ha ha! Okay. They're kind of by themselves. Good. Got him. Okay. Help me. Escort her out. Oh, no. Oh, man. Escort her out. This is a ripoff. This is a rip-off. I bet you can't fight either. We gotta go through all those guys. We're not gonna make it. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, this is stinks. Try and get to a place where we can do our fighting at least. At least maybe we can see them coming at us. Hide back on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're hopeless here. But she can fight. All right, that's good. I'm going to put this on hold while we, uh, well, we'll wait till the, the first, uh, the first guys attack us. Coming from the side. All right. Frost. She's going after him.
Oh, come on. Come on. I hear another uh, thing. All right, let's. Uh... Gear out the door. Oh, geez. Let's just see if we can run out of here. Where'd she go? Uh Oh no. This is, this is how it all ends here. I can't hit anything because they're too high. There's too many of them. It's just too much of everything. I can't hit anything. Yeah, it's just very frustrating. This is the frustrating part of the of Pretoria. It's like they stack the stack the, the deck against you. All right. I'm going to go back. I'll be back when uh, we get back to the the seer. Okay, we're back. Uh, the seer has almost fought her way all the way to the front door. Yeah, I'm still having a hard time with this. She's tough. She knows what she's doing. Oh, come on. Now, where are these guys coming from? Come on. Enough. It might be different if I could actually slot my powers, too. That would help. I'd actually be able to slot my powers, but I can't do that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you. Holy smokes. Yeah, that stunk. Come on. Here we go. There. All right. Let's talk to our contact. Okay. So Cutter Kane does have the limbo device. Kane has no doubt gone into hiding now that we've started hitting close to the mark. Luckily, you provided us with someone who's been there before. We have some seers trying to calm her down right now, but I think information will be forthcoming. Ah, uh, there's a call now. I've sacrificed a lot for this city, Deep Freeze. I'm not going to let it get burnt down. Not by us. Not after we came so close to losing it all. There are too many things at stake right now for us to go back to the old ways. 
There was dangerous times when people like us were needed more than ever. Well, I think those times are coming again, Bobby. I'm glad to, to have you next to me when they do. Finale. The Sears went through the mind of the Seer you rescued, and she called some. She recalls some time down in the tunnels. Oh no. I was about to send a few squads of PPD search teams down there to look for signs of Kane, but then one of our Sears went offline in Logos. Kane struck again. We had managed to triangulate a position for the location of the limbo device blocking the precognition. If you can find and deactivate the limbo device, then the Sears will be able to find Cutter Kane and you can take him out. Find the limbo device. Locating the limbo device is the easy part. Grabbing Kane will be the tricky part. Okay. Ten dumpsters of search. All right, this sounds pretty good. I think I remember this from many years ago. There's going to be glowing dumpsters around. We want to, to, to click on all of them. Fortunately, this is a case where stalker, having a stalker is much more helpful. All right, I'll go through all these, and I will be back as soon as uh, we finish up on uh, getting these dumpsters and we find Cutter Kane. Be right back. Okay, we've done all those. Then we have to arrest Cutter Kane. Let's see what the clue was we just got. You found the limbo device inside of a dumpster. Deactivating it was simple as flipping a switch. So much trouble for just a flick of a switch. All right, those dumpsters were all pretty close together, too, so it's pretty easy. All right, down the tunnels. Oh, we don't have to lead anybody out. Let's see what we can do here. This is what you run into without having uh, without having our hide. These cells are pretty cool looking. Just uh over here. Yeah, fight all these guys. No oh, thanks. Former Seers. And, you know, they're all higher level. I, I'm not sure why they do that. I am seriously thinking about lowering my level to negative one just to, uh, so we can get through the missions. That's kind of sad, too, though. I mean, the whole point is to play the game. Not to, not to just, you know, get through the game. Hmm, I got to a dead end here. see. Okay, I'm going to go and search this out a little bit better. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I ran past him. He's in this group of former Sears. Well, this is going to be great. Holy smoke. And they all have psi powers. If killing this one guy gets me out of here, I'm going to hit hit the front door as soon as I can. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see what happens. Got him. Oh, now I do have to fight these guys. Great. And, of course, I can't. No. That was dumb on my part. But... Please quit hitting me. Please quit hitting me. 
Please, please quit hitting me. I'll just come back after I after my death and uh, mess that up again. I'll just come back after I die and finish off these last two. Yeah, great. <laughs> this is really not any fun at all. <laughs> Holy moly. All right. All right, I am going to be back when we get to that place of our death. Okay, here we are. Well, let's just go ahead and kill him. Miss, of course. Miss and miss. Of course. Miss two in a row. Miss again. Out of there. All right. Contact. Oh, I got reward man. I got seven reward man. Contact. In. Dr. Kane was Dr. Stafford. I can hardly believe it. I spoke with Stafford briefly to try and learn why he did what he did. He said he was trying to give the seers a chance to live their own lives. Part of me agrees with him, but the safety of Pretoria requires that we all sacrifice for the greater good. I told you I had a daughter, didn't I, Deep Freeze? Her name was Anna. She's one of the seers that was kidnapped by Stafford. He successfully removed her from the seer network. Deep Freeze, there's nothing more than I want to see my little girl again, to hear her laugh, to hug her, to ask her how her day has been. But she's a seer. To try and change that would violate everything I believe in. I believe in Pretoria, Deep Freeze. We all have to make sacrifices. Some simply have more to sacrifice than others. I got someone you should meet. Oh, geez. All right, so our next contact is Alec Parson. Okay, so we're going to go over there and meet him. I'm going to put this on hold while we go, uh, I go track this guy down. Let's see where he's at. Let's see here. So we are right. Oh, he's right over here, and we are up here. In our previous uh, contact, as uh, was right here, right there. So it's pretty close to the other one. So I'll be back in just a minute when we start our next story arc. Be right back. Okay, here is our contact, Alec Parson. And uh, during that pause, I went ahead and leveled up to now level 12. And uh, what I did was I went ahead and took a build up, and I slotted up another Assassin's Corruption, which I can't fill in because I can't afford any slots. And I also got another endurance modification in stamina. So, and I also changed my mission down to negative one. Uh, yeah. It's just not fun dying multiple times in, in stupid missions. We're fighting two high level guys. So, we'll do a little bit easier. Uh, you must be deep freeze. That was mentioned in the email. I'm Alec Parson, and I'm in charge of taking care of our city's security clockwork drones. Do you know that just one optical pattern recognition sensor on a class, blah, 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 pre-production model, okay? Can you imagine it? Uh, okay. Part one, what's your malfunction? I think that there are five parts of this particular story arc. It's called Clock Face. The PPD picked up some high wire clockwork over in Nova Pretoria and brought them in. I was diagnosing a programming glitch in some of the malfunctioning clockwork, but one of them overrode his dormant subroutines, got up off the examination table and started accessing one of our databases. I tried to stop it, but pushed me to the floor and pointed his wrist laser at me. As if that wasn't enough to encourage me to leave, the other clockwork started reactivating as well. As you probably guess, I think really need your help. I don't know what exactly is going on here, but I don't think we have any other options. I'm going to need you to shut them down the old-fashioned way. Just try to completely destroy, try not to completely destroy them or the lab. I want to analyze what happened to get to the bottom of this. I'm pretty sure the first one that reactivated was some sort of signal carrier. If you deactivate the signal carrier, then the other should return to normal operating parameters. Parson hands you a small micro communicator. Here, I'll keep in contact with you through the communicator. Okay. 
Alrighty, so we gotta fight the clockwork, but they're kind of clockwork in this world are, are quite a bit different. They look much more modern, and uh, they're like the the servants in this world. But I thought I think it's just pretty much a matter of time before they went kind of crazy. So let's see. When we look at our mission, we can see it's negative negative one, and then times zero. So let's see if you can tell what level you're at. Ministry of Information. The micro labs are oddly quiet, and then you hear the faint whirring clockwork micro something. Okay, disable the signal carrier. All right. This one. Deep freezes is Parson. Can you hear me? Great. All right. The clockwork haven't reacted to you yet. Make sure the doors of the signal carrier are unlocked for you. I was like, design the signal carrier's location. You shouldn't have any trouble finding it. Something tells me there's going to be a, a fly in the ointment here. Just a wild guess. So these guys would have been yellow previously. These hallways are pretty cool looking. There's a signal carrier. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use combination of build up. assassination. Nice! Ooh. Wow. Hey, that was that was great. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's more like it. Let's see, do we have the, our contacts phone or we don't? Right, let's go track him down real quick. So you can see what uh, what he needs to do about this robot attack. All right, here we go. Great job, Deep Freeze. It looks like you managed to deactivate the signal carrier before it could transmit any data. I just hope you left enough of it intact for me to sift through the memory banks and see what it was after. It appears you'll be working together more. Here, please take my cell number. Thank you. Part 2. Deep we lucked out. Despite trying to self-destruct, it looks like you managed to keep the clockwork from completely destroying its memory chips. I sifted around through its memory and compared what pieces it could find with the path through our databases. It looks like it was doing some shopping. Turns out it was very interested in Imperial Storage, a storage depot for clockwork parts. I think it would be a good idea to get down there and see if whoever is behind that strange signal shows up. Oh, before I forget, I analyzed the files in the memory chips at all the clockwork that were subjected to the carrier signal, you know, searching for any sort of hacking or file rewrites. Amazingly, there were none, with one notable exception. I found an entirely new data file in the memory of a signal carrier. It was schematic for a clockwork design I've never seen before. Maybe I'm not giving the gravity it deserves. You see, this schematic is far more advanced than anything I've ever seen. It makes amazing use of simple modifications to commonly existing parts. The design achieved staggering results. Frankly, I feel kind of adept I didn't see it before. It's so obvious see, it's so obvious seeing it all laid out like that. Deep Freeze, I'm very interested in testing these schematics out, but I have a feeling whoever embedded the file is going to make a grab for the parts first. I want you to stop them and bring them to me. Okay. I wonder if it's going to look like the clock that we're used to seeing in the regular game. Although those things don't seem they're very advanced. Just mean, <laughs> but not advanced. Okay, let's see what we got here.
For the sound of you, you're, you're, you aren't the first one here. So I have to, um, four clockwork parts to retrieve. Here's something already. Just stay out of sight. Uh, fill the assortment of nuts, bowls, actuators. It's not one of the ones I need. So uh, there's gonna be a lot of uh, false positives here, I think. Here we go. Who found? Let's see here. Oh, here we um, I think it gave me all the things. So, uh, give me a lot of a lot of information from a lot of the boxes. Maybe maybe incorrectly. So I'm going to go look for these different parts, and I'll be right back. All right, just finished off uh, the last of these uh, clockwork in this one room. There we go. I think we get some extra XP for these, though. Let's see. Oh, extra money. Even better. Even better. So we got the, the different boxes of parts that we needed. Let's talk to our contact. You got the parts, great. Wait, you found out, you fought off another band of hostile clockwork? That's unsettling. Wait, 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 wait. When you said the clockwork were, were talking, you meant talking in their maintenance code, right? No? What? You knew they knew you by name? Oh no. They knew if you knew you by name, then you were coming for those parts, that means they might also knew who I am and Susan. Part three. Deep freeze, it's a mal it isn't a malfunction in the hard lines. Yeah, hold on, let me explain. I sent the schematics over to a friend of mine at Omnitech to take a look at while you were getting these parts. We were discussing them over a secure channel when suddenly went offline. I tried to contact her over the hard lines, but I couldn't get through. I figured there was a communication disruption due to the resistance activity down in the tunnels again. But now that I check, Omnitech has gone completely silent. Whoever's behind this knows they transferred those schematics to Susan, and now they're going to go after her. Please, he freeze, get Susan out of there before it's too late. Check Omnitech. If anything happens to her, it's my fault. Okay. Okay, so let's head on over there to Omnitech. Unfortunately, it's right around the corner. There's some kind of red comet in here. I don't know what this is. Uh, okay, just uh, if you have any questions, okay. All right, check, uh, rescue Susan Beck. Is that maybe I gotta lead her out of here? I hope not. I'm, I'm done with leading people out of, out of maps. These are a lot easier to fight now. she is okay so hmm I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna backtrack I'm gonna kill all the bad guys between me and the front door so I don't have to go invisible and drag this lady out of here later so I will be right back in just a minute when I've got all these guys in the hallways killed be right back okay everyone between me and the front door is dead except for the people who are holding uh, Susan Beck hostage All 
right, let's do a build up and assassination on this guy. Lifter. And a miss. All right. All right, Susan, let's get out of here. Oh no. Oh no. All that work for nothing. You run away. Okay, I know what I'm going to do here. Gonna miss. I'm gonna take off hide. Oh geez, a big guy behind me. Let's just let's run. Let's run, Susan. Come on, Susan. There we go. I think we're going to level up here, too. There. Oh, we didn't level up. Oh, well. <laughs> I didn't get very many points here. Whoops. Powers or, or all that powerful. Well, it's it's kind of hard to say because I don't have them slotted correctly because I don't have any money for slots. But they're a little weak. I'm not sure about this radiation melee so far. We'll see. All right. I'm not sure if it's weaker or if it just seems a little because I'm not using a, a staff. That's probably what it is. Susan Beck is safe, but it seemed that whoever is controlling these clockwork used her as bait. Oh, and we did level up. All right, good. All right. Oh, stop the clockwork in Imperial City. Let's see, where are we at here? Where are we at? Okay. I don't think I'm on this map. Okay, I'm just going to follow this. I'm going to put this on pause while I travel the long distance to the next uh, mission. Be right back. Okay, here we are. Back inside the Micro. Micro offices. Looks like uh, Parson didn't get out in time. The place is thick with clockwork. You get the feeling they won't be happy to see you. Stop the clockwork and rescue. Oh, no. I got to rescue this guy? Another lead out mission? Come on. Okay. Well, these are really low. Oh, because I leveled up. Um, when I left the, the mission, I did level up, so that was good. Um, oh, for crying out loud. Let's see if we can just find this guy first. A lot of leading out, a lot of ambushes.
There he is. Okay. Uh, okay, I think I'm just going to uh, put this on pause while I kill all the bad guys all the way through the map again and try and lead him out. So <laughs> I will be right back. Okay, there's a clear shot between here and the front door. I'll take care of the ambushes I'm sure we're going to get, but we'll take care of uh, everything else. And maybe I'll just uh, run through the door <laughs> like we did the last thing. Oh, I didn't use my build up this one. Alrighty. Let's go. Come on, dude, let's run. He's not in much of a hurry since we're being chased by a giant robot right now. <laughs> He's just gonna meandering down the hallway. There we go. Back out the front door. Uh oh, where'd he go? Come on. Oh, come on. How'd he get stuck? Come on. And I missed. He got stuck in the staircase. Come on, man, you gotta go. Oh, please, please, please don't get stuck. All right. There we go. Okay, let's see what he has to say next. The clockwork were, they were talking. They knew I had discovered something of interest with my research and were trying to destroy it. We must be getting close to the source of what's really going on here, Deep Freeze, or they wouldn't have reacted so aggressively. I'm relieved that Susan is all right, but for some reason I don't think whoever is controlling this clockwork actually wants to hurt us. I wonder what it is they were really after. Who would... Who would those clockwork schematics and parts be so important to? You have a good idea in catching technical aspects most people will ignore. I'd definitely like to work with you again in the future. Part 4. Now that I've calmed down a little, I have something to show you. The clockwork data I was analyzing has a very curious anomaly. There's a bit of resurgent code that appears in the files, even in ones that they've been completely wiped and had a fresh install. No matter what I do, the lines rewrite themselves back into the files all throughout the databanks. Where are the lines? Oh, they're BR and plus T. I assume T means time, although T is never defined. Anyway, the line is total gibberish, but I suspect there's a lot more relevance than we think. This prompted me to do some more digging, and I found something very curious. Remember that strange signal being emitted from that first clockwork who went rogue, the signal carrier? Well, I haven't been able to identify that sort of signal it was, or how it was transmitting it, but I've been searching the city for more signals like it, and I finally found one. I detected the signal at megalith storage. You should drop in and check it out. The signal seems to be fairly weak. I'm guessing there isn't a lot of activity going on inside megalith. Whoever it is behind this probably thinks they're safe there. Pay them a visit and see if you can find out. Meanwhile, I'll do some additional research here after I've called in PPD security contingent. All right. So let's see, where is this guy? That's a long way away, so I'm going to put this on hold while I travel over across map to there. And I'll be right back. Okay, here we are at Megalith Storage. Let's see what we got going on in here. We weren't exactly sure what you expected to find in here, but it certainly wasn't the Syndicate. The syndicate, okay. Uh, okay, we still don't have any instructions yet. Oh, Deep Freeze, this is Parson. The signal disappeared a short time before you arrived. I don't see it showing up anywhere else in the city. Continue your search for uh, Megalith 
There has to be some reason the signal is there. Question the syndicate leader. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to look for the syndicate leader. And go from there. This guy's name is Gunther. This was done by powerful psychics. I don't know if he's the leader, though. We'll come back to Gunther if we need to. Nope, he was not the leader because they, they have some of these guys have different names. Striker. This looks pretty promising. Lance and Mrs. Carmine. <laughs> I think we found our leader. All right. Take out Lance first. Got him. Oh, that was it. All right, I like that. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's see what Alec has to say for us next. All right, let's see what he has to say. Curious, I really didn't expect the syndicate. I wonder if the syndicate might be involved in all of this somehow. The signal, the psychic anomaly, yes, I think that's it. The strange carrier signal I detected when the clockwork first reactivated my labs, and then later when you went in to stop them. It wasn't a wireless signal, it was psychic. Finale. Why did I see why didn't I see this before? I've been so blind, it all makes perfect sense. The syndicate has shown signs of infighting lately. Someone in their organization must have figured out how to remotely control clockwork with telekinetics or something. I'm not an expert in the syndicate, but one thing I do know is that all of them have minor psychic capabilities. Oh, okay, well, that's kind of interesting. So it only stands to reason that some of them are much stronger than the initiates we see on the streets. Psychically controlled clockwork give them the ability to attack their rivals without fear of attracting PPD's attention. They make the perfect soldiers. This would explain why they were stealing clockwork parts and those new schematics I found. Now that I know what I'm looking for, it's easy. See? There. It didn't click until you told me about the Syndicate and Megalith storage. I've been tracking the clockwork activity in this city since the whole debacle began, but to no avail. It wasn't until you mentioned the Syndicate that their psychic abilities that I tried cross-referencing clockwork anomalies with seer reports on psychic surges. Whenever our friends show up, the seers have detected a psychic surge as well. I know the Syndicate have some psychic ability to mask themselves from the Seers and augment their infighting their fighting abilities, but mentally controlling clockwork is a staggering psychic feat. Whoever is responsible for this is an extremely powerful and dangerous psychic master. Be careful. All right. Let's uh, hot foot it on over there. It's pretty close. Yeah, it's right here. Maybe it's another one of these things where you just have to kill the main bad guy. That'd be good. <laughs> we, we could use a little break here. Something is here. You haven't seen any evidence of the presence. Okay. Deep freeze. Poor person here. Something weird is happening. Uh oh. There's a lot of, it's disrupting, calm. Whoa, psychic, the charts, careful. Deep freeze, you should, you should not have come here. Uh-oh. 
My quarrel is not with you, Deep Freeze. It is with another. Parson and Beck were not harmed. Leave this place now, or your fate will be joined. He who is most deserving to die. You cannot stop me, for I am without number. You cannot kill me. I do not live. I am inevi- I am inevitability, Deep Freeze, and the rhythmic tapping of death's fingers upon the moving drum of vengeance. I am metronome. Oh, heck. Sounds a bit, uh, sounds like he's going to be a little bit tough. Okay. This doesn't involve you, Deep Freeze. Oh, there he is. Metronome Progeny. Prototype. Oh, boy. So you got five of these guys. I'm glad I went to negative one on here. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's uh, see what these guys have got. Uh-oh. Now, all of a sudden, another guy shows up. teammate all of them poor frost wow oh, that hurt that hurt I got a clock on here. Defeat Metrodome. Something tells me I'm in bad shape here. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Uh, several reward merits. That is done. I guess Metrodome was all five of those guys to get together. Let's talk to our contact, and we will end this one. Level 14, there we go. An army of strange prototypes, someone calling himself Metronome and vowing revenge against Dr. Keys for stealing his work and his life. Wait, Metronome, why is that familiar? Time, a metronome keeps time. Time is T, BR plus T. Deep Freeze, that wasn't a code, it was his name, or rather a signature. Let me explain. Raymond Keyes had an assistant during the time he invented the clockwork, a brilliant scientist in his own right by the name of Russell Brandt. Brandt died a month before Keyes unveiled the clockwork to the world. He used to signal his documents with a combination of a hacky computer code and a play on his own name, BR plus T, Brandt. You said that the clockwork claimed that Dr. Keyes had betrayed and murdered him. Maybe Brant knew that Keyes was planning and planted a virus in the clockwork to exact revenge later? That doesn't explain the psychic energy we detected. Maybe Brant is controlling the clockwork from beyond the grave. Or maybe it was, wasn't Brant at all, but a third party using his name and draw suspicions away from a true puppeteer. Can it interest me to Investigator Whitworth? All right. Anything else going on? Nope, that is it. So that we finished two story arcs today in this mission. I, I apologize for getting uh, uh, a little fed up midway through when I kept dying and stuff. Um, it's uh, that's a, kind of the thing with with um, Pretoria for me. It's just uh, it gets a little frustrating. I can't earn enough money to slot my character powers up enough, and uh, and all the enemies are tough. See, the the thing I did slot are now old. Heck. So uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for now. So until next time, this is Greg29407, along with Deep Freeze, saying farewell, and we'll see you next time.